Hey guys, and welcome back to the Keystone 5. I'm your host for this week, Albert, and today we have another great guest here on the show. This week's guest is none other than Drew Jackson. But before I tell you all about him, let's roll that intro. Drew was a club kid that attended the Hueytown Boys and Girls Club. As a child, he loved ping pong and the club's Olympic week. He then began to work at the club during his teenage years. His favorite job was working at Camp Jimmy Goodwin, where he was a counselor to the kids. Since the club, Drew has gone on to attend UAB right here in Birmingham and has gone on to become a computer programmer. Drew has been quoted in saying, whatever you do, do it with all you have. Before we hear from Drew, if you've liked it so far, I need you guys to go and like this video. While you're down there, also subscribe maybe? I'm gonna say y'all should probably subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release a new video, just like this one. So with all that out the way, we're gonna say hey to Drew. So what age did you uh, start attending the uh, Boys Club of Central Park? Oh, I probably started attending about the time I was 14, 13. A buddy of mine uh, by the name of Tom Comer asked me if I wanted to go over there and I joined for a, a few years and then I started working shortly after that. So what what was your favorite memory as the, you know, a teen at, at the boys club? Uh, well, I always loved ping pong. We played a lot of it. We played one-on-one, we played the game where you run around the table, maybe four or five people playing at the same time. That was a big game. And then of course, back uh, in them days, the stand up video games were big. You know, the, yeah. the full unit, not the not the just on your PC, yeah. but the big stand in video games, they were big then. And the club had a, several of those we could jump on and play pretty easy. So it was like a like an entire like arcade room. Like it's like, like it's almost like going to the skate rink today and go and play arcades, like like arcade. Yeah, yeah. There was there was actually two game rooms. Okay. As I remember at the West End Club. Uh, yeah, I remember two game rooms. You know, one of them I think had more, maybe ping pong pool tables in it, and one had the video games in it, and different foosball, all kind of stuff like that. So how was it working at the boys club since? You know, I, I work at a boys and girls club, so I, I can't imagine what you go through. Like it. Oh, it's, yeah. well, see, I, I look at that and go, well, I can't imagine uh, just boy, just boys, you know, when I worked there. Yeah. And now it's boy and girls and boy girl stuff. Right. I'm like, wow, you, you, you have so much more to watch out for now. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so, so you got the boyfriend, girlfriend stuff that y'all are dealing with now. And I, I I never had to deal with any of that. You know, it was just, that's a different world, but uh, I loved working at the boys club. Great job, you know, uh, working with coach and Mrs. Uh, Kleckler. They're great folks, like a second set of, like a second set of parents to me. You know, it, it was it was awesome coming into contact with them. I mean, not to mention, I had a ton of friends down there and friends working with me. Um, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna jump back into your, your boys club experience. Um, why did you start and continue to attend the club? You know, especially starting as a teen, which is hard to grasp, you know? Like a lot of teenagers don't like being, you know, told what to do and, you know, you, you had an awesome time there. So what, what yeah, made uh, you coming back? I, yeah, I did start a little bit late, a bit later than most. Yeah, I guess I was, like I said, maybe 13, 14, my buddy, uh, Tom Comer, asked me to come up there and we hung around and uh and i, I think they'd known the clicklers had known tom a lot longer and he got a job there and i think maybe he recommended me and we started there pretty close to the same time and you know it's just like i said they were good folks uh good friends there i, I loved working for the clicklers so you know like anybody didn't always see eye to eye but you know I, and like I said, didn't always see eye to eye, but I, I love, I still talk to him and keep up with him today. 
Well, since I play baseball and you're a baseball fan, um, and I'm a I'm an ex Red Sox fan. I don't want to go into it right now because we will be talking until oh, no. four o'clock. But <laughs> being being a Red Sox fan, how how do you do it? Because I I can't do it anymore. I can't. Well, it's not easy. Uh, now my dad was a Yankees fan, so that might have been some of it. Oh. And my daughter is a Yankees fan. And really? I always say I'm lucky because that disease skipped me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does. My wife's a big Red, Red Sox fan too. We buy oh, the ML, oh. we buy the MLB box package and watch it on the TV most most games. She yells more than I do. Yeah, we <laughs> we've been whenever they come to Atlanta, we always try and make it over there. And uh, I think we've been to Fenway maybe twice. So. So how, well, how was that? Because Fenway was amazing. We've been very lucky. I think we've been to New York, New York twice. Yeah. We've been to Fenway uh, a couple times. And I mean, just as far as stadiums go, I mean, Yankee Stadium, Yankee Stadium, and that's awesome. But, but Fenway Park, wow. No, no, no experience like Fenway Park. My best seat was the, the ladies had went, went to a play mm -hmm. in New York. I mean, in Boston, I didn't want to go to the play. So I got me a ticket. Oh, obviously, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't I mean, I didn't want to okay. go. So I got a ticket to Fenway that night, and uh, jumped on the subway. And I'm going, and I bought this ticket, and I paid 70, 80 bucks for it. And I must not have paid it real attention to where it was. And here's the deal: I walked into the dude and, and uh, the usher, and I gave him the, the ticket. And he starts walking down toward the, the pole there in right field, Pesky's pole. Yeah. And I just, I think the row was like G or H. So I thought that was up in the stands. I just didn't look at it when I bought it. I might have been in a hurry or whatever. Well, G down there by that pole is right there at the, at the field. I mean, I'm front row. He takes my ticket, walks down there, wipes out the seat, sits me down. And I am, I mean, I could have, I wouldn't have made it far. But I could have jumped over that <laughs> fence and, and been on to uh, Fenway Park easy, easy right there. That yeah. was the best seat I had uh, at Fenway. But Fenway was awesome. I highly recommend it. I think that concludes the interview, though. That was, this is was, this was great. Okay. Yeah. Man, I, I'm, I'm trying to restrain myself from talking baseball until 4 o'clock. But I, gotta, <laughs> I have to get back. But... Uh, that's it. Thank, thank you again for okay. yours. Okay. All right, buddy. See you. You have a good day. You too. Bye, bud. Bye. See you. Wow, Khalil. That was a great interview. I personally liked the part where Drew talked about how he got those great seats at Fenway Stadium. This one's for the audience now. What did you guys like most about the episode? I said, what did you guys like most about the episode? You just gonna ignore me? It's kind of rude. <laughs> Y'all are too good to respond to a pre-recorded video. I see how it is. So how about you go and answer that question down in the comments. While you're down there, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we release new videos. Does it sound like I'm a broken record stuck on repeat? probably because I said those exact same words at the beginning of the episode. So I'll give y'all five seconds to go do it. Go ahead. Y'all still didn't even do it. Oh my gosh. Why am I still here? Ah, let's wrap this up. Okay. We're wrapping this up. We good? Okay. If you want to watch a playlist with the episodes, click this. Yeah, right there. If you want to watch computer science, click that right here. You'll see a subscribe button later in a second. Peace. Oh my gosh. Why am I still here?